Wade Paquin with The Build Show. In this episode, I want to talk about using closed cell spray foam for your insulation underneath the concrete slab. All right guys, so this tends to get a lot of attention and I get a lot of DMs when I do an Instagram story or an Instagram post on this. So I thought I'd do an episode on this for all that are interested in this application. Um, we've been doing this for about eight years. Uh, not every project, but most get this application. That's two inches of closed cell spray foam directly on top of a crushed stone base and then we place our concrete slab over the top of it. Why I like it is because it's quick and easy. We did 2,200 square feet here in just a couple hours. If we did this in a, say, a two inch thick uh, rigid foam board that was properly cut, properly taped, and you can see behind me, we've got a lot of concrete columns. There'd be a lot of cutting, a lot of taping to do a proper job. That labor versus the material of the closed cell spray foam on this particular project was a wash. Often on other jobs, the closed cell spray foam is slightly more expensive but you do save a lot of time and aggravation. And the other attributes that I like about the spray foam is that it's monolithic, meaning there's no seams, no joints, it's continuous. It's a great moisture and vapor barrier. And a lot of people don't know this, it's a great radon blocker. So if you live in a neighborhood or you're building a house in a neighborhood that is known for radon problems, this could be a great application for you. A couple tips. I've learned over the years to apply that spray foam directly to a crushed stone base versus a gravel base. The reason for that is because the voids in the crushed stone allow that liquid when it comes out of the gun to penetrate into those voids. The foam is expanding when it gets into the stone and it's anchoring and gripping the stone. What that's doing is two things. It's helping keep that layer, that two inches of spray foam down to the ground because it's essentially anchored to it and it helps the technician who's operating the spray foam gun keep a continuous, fairly flat uh, installation, right? To maintain that two inches, um, I know I couldn't do it if I don't have the experience behind the gun, but a somewhat experienced operator and certainly experienced operators on that gun are able to, to feel and know how much material they're spraying out to achieve that two inches. A good operator can keep it flat, a fairly decent operator with the assistance of that crushed stone helps keep it flat. So um, crushed stone is what I would recommend if you're thinking about doing this. Um, another thing too is when you're placing your concrete on top of this uh, foam after is to make your um, control joints, cut your control joints in the concrete within 24 hours. Um, that is going to mitigate any uh, stress cracking and hairline cracking um, in the immediate future and certainly long term. For all the projects that we've done this application on over the years, and I've gone back to all of them, I've checked in with clients, I've seen them myself, not one slab that we have done has any visible cracks. I have noticed a few hairline cracks in some of the control joints we cut, but even those were minimal. What I like to do with the concrete is use a 3500 PSI or even a 4000 PSI mix with fiber mesh reinforcement. I've been getting away from your uh, wire mesh steel reinforcing and getting the wire mesh concrete right from the plant. It's a lot easier and cleaner and it provides a really strong concrete mix. So coupled with the base, the foam, the mixture and those control joints sets you up for a very successful placement of your concrete slab in the immediate term and long term. So if you guys have any questions on this application, feel free to uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram or even an email, just wade at WKP Construction. I'd, I'd be happy to uh, provide any assistance if anybody's looking for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you soon right here on The Build Show.